What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm with our gym. We're locked in. This is the five minute prediction of Tariq St. Patrick going into episode four of Ghost season four. Now, Tariq, he's making plays behind the scenes. He's linked up with Davis and we're seeing the dark side of Davis. And this is allowing Tariq to make a name for himself. And we also found out that some people in the city know about James St. Patrick other than the police. Now, before we jump into this and we give our prediction of Tariq St. Patrick into episode four, if you like this kind of content, power breakdowns recaps predictions theories then you're at the right spot hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell we're on that road to 50,000 subscribers we need about 1100 more so i appreciate you all hit that like button if you don't see this at 100 likes so let's go ahead and jump into it this is the five minute prediction of Tariq st patrick in episode four of ghost season four Tariq is going to start putting more faith and trust into Braden. we heard about the concert play where Braden was playing with his nose at the party now. Well, he didn't hooked up with L. L got the group going and Tariq is like, good. That sounds like it'll work. Now they do have an in with Zion and they got that 50,000 from Davis to help him actually get over the hump. But now the only thing is Tariq trust in Braden. We know that Braden is playing with his nose with the white girl. So we're gonna have to see how that plays out because we know once you get on that stuff, it's hard to shake back. So. With the concerts being an end to start making some money is good, but Tariq might have to have a little more hands-on than allowing Braden to be the brains of this operation. We all know that the relationship between Effie and Tariq has been very, very rocky. The very first episode of the season, she texted Tariq and said Kane was after him right after she backdoored him and went to Noma about the whole Anya situation. Now, what Tariq just did here is pull the Uno reverse card on Effie, gave her the product that he took from Zion's warehouse so she would take it to Noma and put a little bug in their head thinking, man, Roman and Zion's people are selling on campus. Well, we've seen how that backfired. So with him getting his in with Zion via Davis's 50,000, this could potentially create a small war between Zion's crew and Noma's organization because Kane went and took out that product. So Tariq, he's tiptoeing on the lines of danger, but he knows he needs to do this in order for him to make it out of this whole situation. He also bought himself a little more time, especially when it comes to Monet. Remember, they met up with Pinky to try to get the ring cam footage from Kate Egan. Tariq told her last week, hey, you gave Kate my mama's address. Monet's like, I don't know about that. So we seen Monet talking to Diana and found out that she was lying. So what Tariq did was pay Pinky, and now Pinky got the ring cam footage. So now the alliance between Tariq and Monet is gonna be solidified. Now this is gonna be a problem for Kane because Kane knows that Drew and Diana were the one to try to set Monet up, but they don't know that Tariq was initially the one that was supposed to do it. So Monet is gonna tell Kane, you gotta fall back off of Tariq because he's the only one that's being real with me and being honest and actually finding the people that did what they did. But this isn't an opportunity for Tariq to just lay down and think he's going to be able to skate through the city because he has a truce with Noma and Monet now believes that Tariq is the only trustworthy person that she has. Kane is still on the loose and we know Kane's number one goal is to get whoever got at Monet and right behind that is Tariq St. Patrick. So Tariq is still going to have to watch Kane because he knows that Effie and Tariq might be playing around behind his back. And he knows that Tariq was the one that planted those drugs because one and one didn't equal two when he was working with Monet. But now that he's next to Noma, he's analyzing every situation and he knows that two plus two is four. And Kane sees Effie plus Tariq as the enemy and as trouble. So Tariq will have to watch out for Kane. And I believe that Kane is going to at least talk to Tariq and say, hey, man, I know what you guys are doing. And as I was saying with Kane, knowing what you guys are doing, this all leads back to the fight club. Now there is a clip where we see seeing Kane in there fighting. This is probably because he's trying to get close. He probably has to pay off that debt that he got from taking out Roman's whole supply. And Zion's probably having him in there and betting on him to win some fights because Davis and Tariq are now gonna move into that slot and be working for Zion. Davis gave Tariq the $50,000 to put him over that hump for that $300,000 buy-in for 15 bricks minimum and not the 12 that Tariq initially was trying to get. So Davis and Tariq, they're gonna have an upper hand on Kane, but this is gonna force Kane to get in the ring and actually get to fighting to pay off this debt or 
to make sure that Zion doesn't want to go to war with Noma because there was a misunderstanding via Effie with Tariq's information. All right, there you go. My predictions for Tariq going into episode four. Let me know what you think about him. Can he lay low for a little bit and relax knowing that he has a truce with Noma and now Monet kind of trusts him more than she does her own kids? Or should he stay on top of his A game and continue to put that pressure on in the streets? Because you know Kane, he's a loose cannon and at any moment he can go haywire. So let me know what you think. This is my five minute prediction for Tariq St. Patrick. The season is going exactly how we plan. It's the best spinoff in the power universe. My name is Moe IJ. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So if I said something to make you think or you like these predictions, hey, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.